Mammoth versus Vega. I believe this actually is a losers round. Yes. Um, I'm not sure. I think there was there might have been a DQ at etc cetera, etc. Cetera. But regardless, uh, we've got Mammoth back up on the stage. He gets two vods for uh, for this Twitch <laughs> mod. Uh, somebody make sure to tell him afterwards to, to, to make sure to save those separate things. And then Mr. President John Vega. I don't actually know if that's his name, but. <laughs> Vega being uh, the premier Mewtwo player in Western Mass, so we're going to see a character that a lot of people don't actually see at all. Mm -hmm. uh, and something that, you know, beat my ass yesterday, but, you know, it's it's fine. It's, it fine, it's fine. It's fine. Versus, uh, versus a, a character specialist, Donkey Kong, in here from uh, from there. Yeah. And, I mean, Vega is one of the best pilots in the U.S. for, for uh, Mewtwo, so definitely no slouch. Uh, of course, you know, Tim Pratter, another uh, representative for Mewtwo. But, yeah, Vega is on the cost for being one of the best in, in the U.S., if not already one of the best with Mewtwo. So I do want to see how Mammoth is able to deal with this because we're, we're talking about combo food once again. And Mammoth needs to avoid getting hit by those nares. And especially those huge hitboxes, the, the the swords basically that is the tail of Mewtwo. But that's the detriment of Mewtwo is that is that tail hitbox. So if Mammoth is careful enough, maybe uh, places his hits correct, especially with the down air um, in the air to spike. It's it might be difficult for Vega because he's a light character. Mewtwo is light compared to a character that will be able to kill you pretty early. Yeah, we've seen we've seen Mammoth hit a, a ton of ding dongs. Um, it may not be as easy because Mewtwo is a little floaty and lighter. Yeah, but regardless. Mewtwo can die at like six. Yeah. But uh, you make sure you do have to make sure that you respect Mewtwo's buttons. Like that forward air is frame seven, I believe, is what Vega told me yesterday. Uh, insanely good buttons that Mewtwo still pretty much has. And then you ha definitely have to make sure to watch out for these shadow balls that are going to come out pretty quickly in this in this matchup. Yeah. And again, it's just a lot of Vega trying to zone out Mammoth. Again, trying to just get uh, chips off because. While Mewtwo doesn't have a lot of really good confirms, has a lot of good, you know, reads and a lot of good punishes, like you saw the up tilt into that Nair. Such a good Nair, by the way. That's gonna be the wow. stock. Oh my god. Hey man, you said he was gonna die at 60. Hey. Somebody somebody get Mewtwo like a protein bar. Mewtwo needs to needs to need to put that weight on. Like yeah, god, get him an assault vest. Get, get, get him an assault vest. Like it's leftovers. <laughs> make sure, make, we need entrainment. We need heavy metal. Like that's what we need. Perfect play. IVs. <laughs> but I don't think that's gonna help him out as he is down by a stock very early on. That wasn't even a 30 seconds in. And Mammoth already found that. Immediately looking for the B reverse. Um, giant nope. punch. Doesn't oh, quite catch that down smash. That down smash, down smash is gonna take it. Not yet. And the thing is that Donkey Kong is a little bit harder to edge guard for me too, in my opinion, oh. because of. Like the potential of just getting reversal. Yeah. Plus, um, wow. Well, that Outsmash is going to call out that jump, take it. Uh, plus, the uh, the actual hitbox that can trade a Mewtwo's tail that you don't ding have to worry about. There's a ding dong. Yeah, it's it's weird because, like you mentioned before, Mewtwo is pretty floaty. But, again, big hitboxes, especially that tail, which is going to hurt Vega so much. That counter actually connecting. And Mammoth looking oh my to God, Mammoth. wreak it's havoc. Oh my god. Oh, oh, I thought that was it, but that's just going to be the next one that takes it. Mammoth absolutely running over Mewtwo today. Jesus. Oh, my God. Hey, I wanted to commentate a set, Mammoth. Come on. Scrapping <laughs> like crazy in here. Check out, there's a wave land right there. Mm. And we thought that was the end, but fortunately oh. for, uh, for Vega, it wasn't. But then instantly just getting bonked one more time from Donkey Kong to take that game one. Yeah, and I... I wonder where Vega goes, because I wouldn't go back to PS2 if I was him. Or not, not even small Battlefield, but we're on a Battlefield. There we go. I like that. I like that because you're able to extend a lot of your uh, moves uh, with those platforms. But same could be said for Donkey Kong. Has more access to three or four up airs now. Um, Ding Dong, maybe not as much, but still possible for Mammoth. Starting a little bit better here, Vega. Not getting hit by these uh, these straight down airs off of this and actually getting uh, some damage in here early on. Shadow Balls have not really gone a lot so far. Great, nice nair to catch that with a nice little follow up forward air. And that's, a, that's the soft hit of back air, but that's a full one that's going to take that stock great. Very nicely done there from President Vega. Yeah, and Vega finally making this counter pick look very, very good for them. Really um, stuff that a lot of different 
uh, movement options from Donkey Kong, despite having that uh, top platform, doesn't allow them to land easily because of that uh, that oh top that third platform. Went for that was, I mean, I can't blame him. <laughs> if, if you have this much momentum going into the into the stock, and you have to go for it. I mean, risk it for the biscuit. Why not, right? Yeah, and you can see like over here that. Vega is really using the platforms to his advantage, right. kind of waiting in the areas where Donkey Kong can't get like a down air in there, even at even or, and then being able to punish the uh, the follow up mammoth, taking oh. that second stock, seeming like a little bit of an SD there, kind of felt like there was absolutely ability to, to get back there for Donkey Kong, but it is still all Vega what? in here. Floating nice of jab, nice jab that's gonna take a ton of damage in there. Will Vega be able to take this stock? Nice little shield to forward air. Doesn't quite catch the get up on that. All right, I'm still in this in these areas. Oh, huh. interesting. I probably. think Mammoth wanted to run off and then go for that forward yeah, throw, but probably, just, probably, probably a misinput. Yeah, just not 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 a lot of confidence coming out from Mammoth. Gets it by that nair once again. Vega looking for an upper. Gets the F tilt. Nice. No jump, by the way. Gets the down air to <laughs> stop that out and at the restock. In game number two for Vega, what a counter pick, what a game, and what a way to uh, shift the momentum to your favor if you're Vega. My goodness. Much better over here, catching a lot of that with that nice F tilt on platform, and then that rising down air from Mewtwo to catch the very linear recovery of Donkey Kong. But it looks like a couple of dual plats have been, uh, I think all the dual plats have been, <laughs> have been banned here, and for good reason. You don't want to give uh, easy dig dongs ever to, yeah. to a character who can kill you at 60 off the top. But on the side, it's a little bit of a different issue, so who knows? But we do actually go to the center platform that unfortunately had to be left open, and I know for a fact, because I also counterpicked this against Vigi, he probably just goes, of course, yeah. and has to just deal with it. Yeah, but I mean, that center platform, like we talked about earlier, right, with that Battlefield counterpick, not yet, but that was an insane read there. He gets inside oh, off. But yeah, no, not a lot of opportunities to get down air off because of that center. <gasps> Platform gets the berry, goes for the jab one into the up smash just to make sure that he gets that kill. What a landing there by Mammoth. If he'll come back. Yeah, Vegas just got to be careful because there's absolutely, there's absolutely a way to just get a stock loss off of a Donkey Kong reversal. You can see already 46% right over there. Kind of scrambly a little bit around in neutral. Vega going for this edge guard one more time, and Mammoth doing very well to recover off it. There's the trip. Is that going to be the ding dong? No way. The second one. Oh There's the ding dong my. to take the second stock here in game three, and Mammoth has started to get those ding dongs more consistently as the games have gone on. But can Vega somehow bring this back to make this game a reverse three stock? Not, not with that kind of read. <laughs> You're not going to be able to get much out of that. Oh, oh almost gets hit God. by the up smash. Mammoth is going for some crazy things today as that up air does take that stock right in there. And Mammoth is doing really well just kind of sitting into this uh, into this area from uh, from center stage. Yeah, here. Oh, oh, my God. My oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jeez, Vega with an amazing tech to keep himself alive in the set. Yeah, but it is it is a it is a grab away from it in reality, or maybe even just like a setup for something. Being that that down B or uh, anything that can take this stock here from Vega. Vega really getting ran back on. Still alive in here. 104 still there for Vega. There's a the nice catch on the teleport. No jump, but back on the stage. Tries to get the pivot grab. Doesn't quite get it there. Vega still scrambling to try to stay alive here. Good back here from center stage from Mammoth. Gets back. There is the side B. Mm. Nice nair. <gasps> oh, no! But that is it. You had the read with the forward smash. Just missed space. And then a perfect... 07 <laughs> President Vega. <laughs> and a perfect punish with that side B to bury and get the F smash. I mean... What a set to end off this block <laughs> with two low tiers, but oh my god, amazing gameplay. Good stuff from Mammoth to go into top 24, I believe, in the loser's side. But Vega with a valiant effort, unfortunately couldn't, um, couldn't really capitalize off of the three stock in the game two. And Mammoth just making sure that he made that first game uh, worth it, honestly, just to be able to win that, keep that as a cushion, and then uh, be able to adapt later. It's really rough to have to counterpick Donkey Kong yeah. when you have almost every state like there's four stages that donkey donkey ding dong you really easily off of so kind of 
it's a really rough one to go into that game three thinking, well, I have to ban something. Right. And then them just choosing the one that you let. Yeah. So it does kind of suck a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right. But we're going to.